Well, good morning. It is great to be with you with another week. Another week lies ahead of us. Yes, you're with George and we are on growth track. Growing as we are going. My only desire is this, to see you grow in your spiritual walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. And so I just, I'm just here to encourage you, desire to keep you motivated, if I can use those terms, in the Lord and walk with passion of serving Him. So this week, we're going to speak about storms. Because looking at the news, there are so many storms out there in the world today. So my title for today is, When in a Storm, Check Your Passenger List. <laughs> yeah, come on. Remember this? When uh, Jesus was out there with His disciples and uh, they hit a storm, Jesus was present in the boat. They had to check the list. And when they found Him, Notice they found him sleeping, but again, they were able to awake him and he was there to help them. And so this is what I'm encouraging you this week. No matter the storms that you face, remember this, check your passenger list. Is God present with you? Because we know the only one that can calm the storm is the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, just over the past weeks, and if you've been watching what is happening with Ukraine and Russia, yes, uh, absolute turmoil, uh, that nation's in a storm. We do not want to be caught up in a storm like they are being caught up at this present moment. But you see, when Russia crossed the border into Ukraine, the possibility of a third world war was present, became a reality. And again, we are sitting, as it were, the world looking in at this present moment, which could turn into a third world war at any moment. Our prayer is this would not happen. You see, it is said that when the first world war was declared, that it would become a war that would end all wars. How mistaken were they? History, however, tells us that this became a war that was a father of all wars. This war, the First World War, in actual fact, created more wars. Isn't it crazy how these things develop, that wars are all around us even presently? Now listen, since the First World War, we saw the rise of communism. <laughs> That happened. This was birthed out of the First World War. Then came the World War II, which birthed the Korean War, the Cold War with the Soviet Union, Vietnam War, Desert Storm, and conflicts in Israel, still ongoing today. Ireland, Afghanistan, Central America, Bosnia, Angola, Somalia, Argentina, Pakistan, and so we can go on and on and on. It is crazy to see how much of the world that we live in is in actual fact at loggerheads towards each other. Wars are, are rampant all around us. Now again, remember this. Jesus said this in Matthew 24 verse 7. He said this, nations will rise against nations and kingdom against nations kingdom. This is exactly what is happening today. And so again, this is what I'm trying to say to you on the outset of this Monday morning, that yes, we are going to be, we're going to face storms and storms all around us. They say petrol prices are going to increase. Imagine this, petrol price increasing more. What comes with increase of petrol price? Well, food, food. Again, our staple diet, <laughs> that's what we need. It's, it's going to escalate to the point of how are we going to live? So we are in a storm, regardless of what is happening across borders, regardless of what is happening in other nations. I want to say this, that we need to check our passenger list. We need to make sure that the Lord Jesus Christ is on our passenger list, that He is part of our lives. Because you know what? He is the only one that will Will be able to calm the storms that are there present today even present in your own life you might be present in a storm now i don't know what your storm might be i don't know what the turmoil in your life might be i don't know what you are going through spiritually you need to understand that you need to have jesus christ in that boat with you when you hit a storm because he is the only one that is able to still the storm now 
How do wars start? <laughs> this is crazy to think this. Through the spread of false information that leads to propaganda. Isn't this what the devil does? He feeds false information into our lives that brings us into a place of turmoil. And then we find our lives in a storm. A storm all around us. How are we going to meet our, our needs at the end of the month? How is how are we going to stretch our salary out to make sure that we are able to live in a life where in a world where everything is upside down? Now, you see, this is the very tool that the devil uses in turning hearts against each other. Now, man will always turn to lies to justify his reason for destroying another nation. Hitler killed millions of Jews. Why? He thought he was doing God a favor because of that, what the Jews did to him when they put him on the cross. Isn't that crazy to think how men can turn things around to justify that what they do? So today on this Monday morning, I want you to go back, check your passenger list. Is the Lord Jesus Christ on your passenger list? Why? because we are heading into storms and he's the only one that can calm the storm.